Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this video we'll be taking a look at another air-to-surface radar mode for the Hornet, uh, namely C-Mode. And as you might have guessed, uh, this is used to detect and track uh, seaborne targets. So let's take a look. Go to the air-to-ground mode, and we see a harpoon selected. And here on the attack radar, let's go to, right now we're in map, GMT, which we talked about earlier, and one more time, now we're in C mode. And this is going to look very familiar to uh, GMT mode. So again, we're going to have a range scale. But the big difference here than GMT, we can all go all the way out to 80 miles in this case. And we can see we have uh, three ships ahead of us here. Again, we can adjust the azimuth. Uh, more narrow the azimuth, the faster the updates. Again, we'll keep it at 45. And also, again, just like GMT, we have the interleave option where we can also see uh, the surface as well. In this case, we can see the uh, eastern tip of Cyprus here. And we'll keep it on. So, as we did before, let's go ahead and assign the TDC to the right DDI by going right on the sensor control switch. And now we'll move the TDC over one of the ships. And we'll press right on the sensor control switch. Then we've locked up this target. And we can see its speed, 26 knots, and going 34 degrees. And we can also see the location of the ship out here on the HUD. In this case, with the harpoon, we'll go to mode. We can go a range and bearing. Keep it medium, skim, and seeker medium. It is in range. And fire. Let's go to the next one. Undesignate. track mode range and bearing and launch so pretty straightforward I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video and I will see you next time thanks